In this demo, we will show you how to enable communication between an infrastructure Anibus Wireless LAN access point and an Anibus Wireless bolt. For this example, we will use the configuration wizard in the YLAN access point for fast and simple setup. Follow these steps to make the Anibus YLAN access point ready to communicate. The first thing to do is to connect your PC to the access point using an Ethernet cable. Then configure your Ethernet adapter to use a static fixed IP address in the range 192.168.0.x. For this example, we recommend using the IP address 192.168.0.20. Open your web browser and type in the default IP address of this access point. 192.168.0.2 this will take you to the login page. Use the default username admin and the default password admin, both lowercase, and you will be directed to the welcome page. Press the run wizard button to set up the YLAN access point. First, you will see an overview of the different steps included in the wizard. If you know what information to enter for these steps, you are ready to proceed by pressing next. Step 1. Change the default password to a secure password, known only by the people that should have access to change the settings of this access point. Starting with the old password admin, enter the new password. Confirm the new password and press next. Step 2. Here you enter the SSID you wish to use and select a YLAN channel suitable for your infrastructure. Please check with your IT department for special recommendations on what channels to select to avoid congestions of any YLAN installation. In normal circumstances, you should only use channel 1, 6 or 11 in the 2.4 GHz YLAN band. In this example, we use Cell Factory as the SSID and select channel 11. Pressing next will take us to step 3, wireless encryption settings. These settings should also be verified with the IT department in case they have special requirements that should be fulfilled. This might require settings not available in the wizard, but instead in the wireless settings part of the configuration. For this example, we will stay with the wizard. We enable WPA2PSK and enter a shared key. Press next. In step four, we press save to save the settings. The YLAN access point will restart using the new settings and we can now log in using the new password. This is all the configuration needed to set up the Anibus YLAN access point for communication. It is now waiting for devices to connect to it, so let's get connected. We will use the Anibus wireless bolt and configure it to connect with the access point. Connect the bolt to the PC using an Ethernet cable and enter the default IP 192.168.0.99. This will take you to the bolt's welcoming page. Enter the YLAN settings section. Press scan for networks. Locate the cell factory in the list and select it. The standard authentication mode WPA slash WPA2 PSK is the same as we used in the YLAN access point, so we can enter the shared key directly. That's all that is needed to set up the communication channel between the Anibus YLAN access point and the Anibus wireless bolt. Press save and reboot and wait for the process to finish. Once restarted, the bolt will connect to the SSID cell factory. Disconnect the Ethernet cable between the bolt and the YLAN access point, and you will still be able to check the bolt's web page. We have achieved wireless connection.